It's Monday, welcome back to the triathlon adventures of Captain Calamity. <laughs> what do you think of the new channel title? I quite like that intro and it's very, very apt. So, backstory, I've had shin splints, I've had back pain, I've had hip pain in the last two weeks. That seems to have rectified itself through some pretty intensive kind of rehab exercises. Yesterday, Sunday, we went for a family walk in the woods. It was really hot when we got home, Callum and Finley decided to jump into the paddling pool. I'm basically a toddler in a man-sized body, so I jumped in with them, but cracked my knee on the, <laughs> on the corner seat of the, uh, the paddling pool, and I've got a massive bruise and swelling on the inside of my, my left knee now. Uh, I will show you, cycling purists look away because I've not, as yet this year, trimmed my legs. But it's all swollen and bruised and wobbly, it's horrible, it's just filled with fluid and it's really quite painful. Um, I iced it for about 20 minutes last night, which seems to have helped, um, but walking's pretty, pretty painful. So the, the planned session for tonight was an FTP test, which we pushed back to Friday. Doug uh, is possibly the most patient man in the world because he seems to put up with my continual ineptitude. Uh, he probably has adopted a cat in France that he can just kick every time he gets a message from me, but to me, to go kind of client facing, he's very professional. So I apologize, Doug, yet again. Right, so basically, yeah, FTP test we pushed back later this week. Give my knee a chance to settle. It, it's, it's better than I thought it would, actually, would be, actually. So instead of the FTP test, uh, just going to do a 30 minute easy cycle just to sort of keep it moving. And to be honest, I've been out about 10 minutes now and it's starting to, to ease up a bit. The power, the power output as well, kind of building on last week, the power output to my watch uh, seems to be, seems to be kind of more what I'd expect it to be as well. So I sent Doug a couple of files for analysis for my power output and he compared the trainer and pedal and I've calibrated and uh, updated firmware on both lots of well, both bits of kit. And looking at the power a minute ago, it seems to be where I'd expect it to be. So again, Captain Calamity strikes. Um, Okay, not much more to say. I've spoken too much already. This week I'm hoping it's gonna be a good week of training. Got a, at the moment in the diary is a plan to run with James if the, weather, if the kind of stars align, which I'm looking forward to, an FTP test. So I'm gonna end it there. I'll see you tomorrow. I think tomorrow's another test run just to make sure the shin's as good as we think it is. Till then, wish me luck. Good evening, welcome to Tuesday. Another easy 30 minutes on the bike tonight. Bit of a different route, had some fun. Overtook some cyclists. <laughs> Knees feeling loads better today. The bruise has come out and it's looking horrible, but it's feeling a lot better. Uh, it's a lot freer than it was. And uh, I'm able to get up and down stairs easily, which I wasn't able to even yesterday, so. I'll take that as a massive improvement. I'm hoping that uh, another couple of another couple of uh, days and it'll be completely gone. Just need to kind of just need to look after it now. Make sure that I don't bash it or overstretch it or do anything stupid. Right, that's it tonight. Nice and easy, as I said. 30 minutes. Tomorrow is going to be another bike session. Just to keep my legs moving. I'll see you then. Welcome to Wednesday. It's a nice easy session in the Shed of Dreams. Um, 30 minutes only today. I've got a few things I need to do to take care of this evening, so it's going to be a very short, very easy one. Um, a multi purpose video, however, tonight. I'm testing out um, some new bib shorts. These are the Endura, Endura Pro SL, and uh, first sit in them, they feel very comfortable. They're quite. They're quite, uh, quite a lot of compression in them, so I'm not fat, 
they're just very compression oriented. <laughs> Lockdown belly. Anyway, nice and simple tonight. Just gonna ride for 30 minutes. See how the shorts perform. And just keep my legs turned over. Okay, so it's Thursday. Unfortunately, didn't manage to hook up with James. Uh, things, things have got in the way. So, just been out for a quick run. Uh, just about four and a half miles. Uh, pretty pleased with the pace though, 721 for the for the run, which is great because it meant that I was running pretty well uh, and neither my knee or my shin hurt, so I'm feeling good, feeling confident and uh, happy that we'll be able to continue run training next week. Right, I'll see you tomorrow for a bike session. Okay, it's Sunday and the day that I've not really been looking forward to. It's a five minute to 20 minute FT, uh, test today, so 20 minute FTP test, five minute power test. I'm not doing it through a a formal workout, 10 minute warm up, 5 minute power test, 5 minute easy, 20 minute FTP, and a cool down. And after that, I'm going to do a transition run, so see how my leg functions after a cycle workout. Anyway, on with it. See you in a bit. So, cut to Monday, and the test didn't go particularly well. And the reason it didn't go well was because of the mental battle. I basically fluffed it yesterday. Um, I did the 5 minute power. Um, I started probably a bit too strong, um, somewhere up around 500 watts. Um, I finished uh, finished with a second best um, five minute power output, but then got into the 20 minute FTP test. And basically, that was it. I um, I gave up. My, my my head just wasn't in it for some reason. I'm struggling with that at the moment. Um, I, I, okay, so the, the excuse is Maisie is teething really badly and she is up pretty much every hour at the moment. We had probably uh, probably three hours sleep on Friday and Saturday night. So Saturday when I was sat on the bike, I was absolutely exhausted. Um, I did about 40 minutes of the planned 50 minute session. Uh, I think I quit the, the FTP after about 11 minutes. Um, and I know looking back at it, that's, that's over halfway. I should probably have had a strong word with myself and, and, and kind of cracked on. Um, but for whatever reason, I've, I've lost that mental resilience at the moment. And I think that's really come something that I need to focus on because the, the Ironman is a really good event. It's a long kind of, um, a, lo a, a long day. And the half Ironman from my understanding of it is a more of kind of brutal, higher pace, higher effort type race. So you you need to be able to embrace the suck and just get through that, that pain. And I think that I've mentally softened. So I really want to work in the next couple of months in kind of mental hardening and, and getting that strong mindset back. And I've had it and I know that I've got it, but for whatever reason, be it tiredness or stress or the uncertain times that we're living in or whether it's lack of practice, I don't know. But I'm, I'm sat here on a Monday feeling pretty fed up and pretty grotty about myself at the moment. I feel really quite down uh, about how that test went yesterday. And I know it's one point in, in time, uh, but I think that it, it's something I really need to focus on. I need to work on that, that robustness of mind. Um, got off the bike, had a, you know, had, a, had a drink and then went out for my run and felt really good. You know, I was running the, so the, the 20 minute run I did uh, 12 minutes out and then five minutes hard back and five, two minutes easy to cool down. And that five minutes back was run at kind of sub seven minute pace. I felt good doing that pace and felt really good and like kind of mentally strong to do that. But for whatever reason, the FTP just was above me yesterday. This week's gonna be a bit of a chill out. I think we're gonna step back from the figures a little bit, do a bit more endurance stuff. I've signed up for the Castle Series uh, virtual race on the 19th of May, uh, 19th of June, sorry. So that's given me something to focus on. Um, the, the duathlon, it's a, I'm doing the half iron distance duathlon, which is something different to focus on, away from the figures, away from away from those kind of structured sessions. Um, Doug's again kind of stepped up. He's put some like zone two endurance, longer rides, longer runs in, just to give me a bit of uh, fun back in, in kind of um, in what I'm doing. So not really the not the really the finish of the week I'd hoped for, but the finish that we got. So you know next week's uh, this week sorry is going to be is going to be different. We're going to be doing something, uh, or I'm going to be training in a slightly different way. I'm looking forward to. I've already got plans to get out on the mountain bike and have some kind of socially distanced fun with with uh, with a friend, just to swap it up a little bit and, and get the kind of passion back. 
Right, that's it, that's the video. Very short and sweet this week, I'm sorry for that. Um, hope you're having a, a, a good training block at the moment. The, the weather's been kind to us and you're somehow managing to, uh, to achieve what you want to. With that in mind, I will see you next week. Cheers guys.